I mean, there's art in every aspect of this building, all kinds of art. You know, I still don't know, you know I meet people every day and I've been here close to a year and, and you know, it, it just it keeps, it, like I said before, it keeps the juices flowing because when you have people that are in the same frame of mind, it keeps you going. I studied at the New York Studio School of Drawing, Painting and Sculpture in New York um, for four years. Uh, before that, I lived in Brooklyn and I painted on my own. And both my parents were amateur painters, so I grew up with paint all around the house. Um, I'm a wife and mom. I live in Ridgewood, New Jersey now, and I never stop painting. Uh, so I'm here in Patterson to revitalize my art practice and revitalize my career. So when you walk into my space uh, along the long wall, that's my main working wall, and you'll see a, sort of a cacophony of different uh, projects on that wall in, in different stages of finish. Then you see two huge windows that show downtown Patterson, which is why I chose the space. Underneath the windows is a gated table that my mother left me from her mother, and on top of that are two paper mache uh, pink birds from Mexico. Those pink lovebirds feature in a lot of my paintings. Above them hangs a disco ball that I found after a big party here at the art factory. It was being thrown away and I hung it up in my studio. It sim stimulates my thinking, the light that's in my painting. I think a lot of it is stimulated by that disco ball. I work primarily with oils on canvas. Uh, Currently I'm working with two panels right up against each other juxtaposed. I like to juxtapose representational imagery with abstract imagery. So I'm working with two spaces that might seem incongruous um, and the challenge is for the viewer to find their way to have them fit together.